Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a PS4 house. Ever since I made my Xbox One house, you guys have been insisting, not requesting, insisting that I make a PS4 version. And I've also included a little mini version of a PS4 controller along with the house as well that you can place either on top of it, in front of it, to the left, to the right, or not at all. It's completely up to you. So this will go very well with your Xbox One house and it is very much in scale with the house. So both of these together they're pretty much the exact same size give or take a couple of blocks so they don't look silly being placed next to each of the PS4 and the Xbox One. You'll have to let me know whether you want me to make any other houses or builds that are exactly like this one or absolutely anything that you want me to make. Just let me know down there in the comment section. You can do the same thing on Twitter. Follow me at TSMC360. Also, check out the card system. Check out the description below. I'll be leaving links to a couple of playlists. Number one, my consoles and controllers playlist, which is absolutely apt for this particular video since we have both of them. And I will also leave a link to my awesome theme builds playlist. I'm sure that you guys will get a kick out of both of those. They're very, very nice playlists. I'm sure that you'd love to check out if you love absolutely any builds like this. But that is more than enough talking. Why don't we actually get to building this PS4 house? Because it may take a while. So if you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. Grab yourself some cyan stained clay, some black wool, dark grey wool, light grey wool, white stained glass, light grey stained glass, grey stained glass, stone brick stairs and some stone slabs. Plus, we'll also need a couple of materials that we have up here. Not all of these, but we'll probably need sea lanterns and maybe even some andensite. But once you have each one of those materials and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to be making it opposite my Xbox One house. Well, once you have figured that out, you're going to want to kick this off with a row of 15 black wool in a row on the floor. So that'll look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, like that. You then want to leave a gap of one in the ground and still going right, do another row of 23 black this time. So that'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, 23. You then want to take a sideways view to that 23rd row that you've just done. And you want to take this 30 or 23rd block and you want to do three upper right diagonals from it. It'll look like this. One, two, three. You then want to go right of that third block by 23 again. So that'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. You then want to do bottom left diagonals until you reach the floor. So that should be about three of them, like that. Connect your way all the way back over to the opposite side, basically where you just first started, you should connect like this. What you then want to do is you want to come all the way over to, can you remember this first block that we started in this row of 23 that we have? Well, what we basically want to do is we want to take this block and we want to copy what we did over that side onto this side. So we kind of want to have like a row of a uh, row of 23 or so coming backwards. And you can count all of this stuff out. So if you wanted to, you could take like this first block and you could do three up left diagonal, so that looked like one and then two and then three. And then you can count left by 23. Or alternatively, you can just look over and do what I'm doing and kind of just measure up the row by looking at that opposite side. And you can just measure it up until it lines up and you can just copy it that way. Or alternatively, if you do want kind of like a more precise measurement, you can take that first spot, you can free up left diagonals, go that way by 23 and then do bottom right diagonals and connect back the way you came. But I don't see any point in doing that because, of course, you may as well just do that. Well, anyway, once you've got that taken care of, you then want to take these first three upper right diagonals on the front and you want to connect them together left and right. So that'll take a second or two, but you do want to connect them together left and right like this. This. So I'm just going to work on doing this. It'll take a moment or two. It does take quite a while. This is a pretty big build actually. So there we go. We've just connected all of those together. We can also fill in this right hand side of the PS4 in. We can just completely fill this in. But you don't want to do the same thing with the above portion. 
and you absolutely don't want to do the same thing with the left or back. But what you can do with the back is you can connect the bottom diagonal, the one that touches the floor, you can connect that to the opposite side like this and you can connect the top diagonal together as well. So if you just want to connect the bottom and the top together like that, then you'll end up with something that should look like this. And you know, whilst we are actually working on this part of the PS4, there's no reason why we can't get this done. Um, if you start on the very right hand side here, where we have these like two diagonal black walls. Well, going left of these, you want to do this pattern. So with the uh, white stained glass block, or as a matter of fact, we'll use the light gray stained glass. You want to do this pattern going left. So you want to do uh, a row of two light gray glass, and then a row of black wool like this. So coming left. And I know it's difficult because it's diagonal. And you want to repeat this four times in total. So that's the first. And then this will be the second. And then this will be the third. And then this will be the fourth time that you want to do this. And these are just the vents on the back of the PS4. You then, the next row, you want to have a little bit different. So you want to have, first of all, a layer of light grey glass. Then you want to have um, light grey wool for the next layer. Then a layer of light grey glass. And then another layer of black. You then want to do two layers of light grey glass. One two then you just want to completely fill the end of this in with black because there is nothing on the very end left side of the ps4 and you'll end up with something that should look a little bit like that and that's just fine that's what we want well once you've got that taken care of we're now going to form the other half of the bottom of the ps4 so the way that we'll do this is um we'll take this very first block in this row of i do believe it's 15 this and we'll do three upper left diagonals from it as if we're looking towards the opposite side of the ps4 so that'll be one two three then we just basically want to match that row that we have there. So we want to come backwards by 23, but there's no reason to count it out because we just want to match the row that we have just one block away from us. And then we want to do bottom right diagonals until we connect to the ground. And then we want to connect all the way to the very front of this build again, like this. So we want to have something which should look like that. We then want to drag each one of these like three upper right diagonals or up left diagonals, the three diagonals at the front bottom half of UPS4, you want to drag these all the way over to the very left hand side of your PS4, like this. And then we want to form the same shape that we have over there, except of course we want to have it here, so we'll take this top diagonal, we'll drag it all the way backwards, or by 23 if you do want to count it out, we'll drag it all the way backwards until it lines up over there, and then we'll do bottom right diagonals, as I'm doing, and then we'll connect it to the front. It's just a faster way of filling this thing in and putting in lines than having to individually count out the 23, like four or five or however many times we typically have to count it out. It's just easier to use the other rows to your advantage and it's a little bit faster as well. So that is the most of the bottom half of the PS4 done. What we're now going to do is focus on the back right hand half now. So. On this very bottom, smaller half of the PS4, we want to connect the bottom diagonal and the upper diagonal together, like this. So connect the bottom and the tops together, like that. We then, starting from, shall we say the left, starting from the left here, we want to do this pattern again. And you guys will remember this pattern, and we want to do it four times. We want to do two light grey glass going right from each one of the diagonals, then a layer of black. You guys remember you want to do this and you want to do it four times. I've actually just about done it two times now. And then we're going for three now. So this will be three times. And then we will have done a fourth time here. Whoops, let me destroy that additional block there. And then we can just fill the right hand side in here with black. And we'll end up with something that should at the back, bottom at least, should look a little bit like this. And that's exactly what we're after. Well, once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So, it's now time for us to establish the shape that is going to be the top half of the PS4. Since we've got the bottom half taken care of, why don't we take care of the top? And the easiest way to do this is by coming all the way to the left-hand side of the PS4. And you want to be on, like, the top front right-hand corner, which is this one. 
and you want to, from this block, this one that I have highlighted, you want to move back by one block, and then place like a sign stained clay on top of the second block. Place a black wall, and then do four up left diagonals with your black. So that's one, two, three, four. The upper half is slightly bigger than the lower half if you guys haven't gathered. You then want to go left of this black wall block by, you guys might have guessed this, by 23. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Then we want to take this 23rd block and we want to do four bottom right diagonals from it. So that'll be 1, 2, three and that will be four like that and then if you want to see if you've actually measured this correctly you should be able to go right at that fourth bottom right diagonal by one and then you should be able to connect down to the opposite end of the ps4 by one with your cyan stained clay like that and you can see that we've done that very much correctly so what you can then do is you can take that fourth bottom right diagonal you can connect it all the way to the front with your black wall as we are doing now then you can fill it in you can fill this shape in because what we're now going to do is we're going to take this shape that we've just made and we are going to use it to complete the rest of the ps4 because it gets quite easy from here there are some more complicated ish bits but most of the ps4 is actually done once we've reached this point we now want to take each one of the outer blocks of this and we want to extend them right by 14 or alternatively we can extend them right until they match up with the shape just down below previously so if you like what you basically want to do is you want to extend this part of the ps4 all the way over to the right and you just want to trace along the outside of the shape that is left here so you just want to trace along the outside of the shape that is left like this and we just want to make that very first flat shape into the big giant 3D shape that we have, well, that I showed you right at the beginning. That's what we want to have. So if you can see here, we're just taking that flat shape, we're extending it all the way over to the right here, where we have this smaller 3D shape below us before the separation. And we're just making it as long as that portion. And we're just making it all nice and 3D. I'm sure that you guys know how to do this. It's very, very easy, really. There's, there's nothing too much complicated about it. Very, very easy. So... I'm just going to continue to fill this part in with black, this left and right portion, and uh, what I'll also do is on the back here, so coming to the back, you do not want to fill the back portion of this in, let me show you why. So, the lower half of this shape is connected together, connect to the upper half of this shape, like this. What we then want to do, where we have these three diagonals, we want to take the left hand diagonals first, and we want to, going right of these, do this pattern. And this pattern we've done a few times already. You guys will recognize it. We want to do this four times. We want to do two light gray glass and then one layer of black. We want to do this in total four times. So this will be the first time. And then this will be the second time. This will be the third time. And then this will be the fourth time that I've completed this pattern. The rest of the back half of this part of the PS4 can be just completely filled in with black wool. And there you go. That's exactly what you're after. Nice and easy, really. Well, once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So we now want to come to the upper half. Of this, and by the way, you can leave that exposed, that uh, that big giant exposed left-hand part of the PS4. Um, you want to come to the upper right half, and you want to do the same thing that you have on the left. So we essentially want to copy the shape that we have on the left here, and we want to take this shape, and we want to just transfer it to the right, and we just want to leave a gap of one. So uh, if you can see how this is going to go, it's just the same thing. It's the same shape, leaving a gap of one. We just want that one block separation, but we do want the exact same shape. And then we'll drag that over to the right-hand side of the PS4. And this time we'll leave most of this transparent. We, we will only fill in the front part and the back part of this, because we can just do some of this off of recording. So I'm just going to extend this all the way over to the back here 
and on the back you can connect the very bottom part of the back part of this together and you can connect the very top part so it's this many diagonals as I'm doing it, it's this and then we'll need one more and then we can connect this side this opposite side at the top and the bottom together it's a little bit more complicated um, than just filling in the three middle ones and then we just want to trace along the outside part of the shape basically just so that we turn it into a nice big fillable in shape that's exactly what we're after and then I'm just going to copy that shape that we have on the opposite side we'll have to destroy one block there because I placed an extra diagonal and there we have the big empty shape that we need. Uh, what we can then do is on the back we'll fill in the top upper left hand side of this and it's like I said it's a bit more complicated than the rest so this is what we want to do. So I'm from the left hand side where we have these three diagonals first of all we want to have two repetitions of the pattern that we've been doing all along and that will be two layers of glass like this and then one layer of black wool and we've done that once we want to do it again so light grey glass then black wool that's what we want to have we have that twice now this next one is a bit trickier what we want to do is we want to do a layer of light grey wool then we want to take this top block go right of it by two of the light grey we want to take the bottom two blocks and we want to do a layer of um, cyan stained clay and then we want to do a layer of light grey next to them so we want to have this sort of shape then we want to have a layer of black wool. Then for the next one, we want to take the bottom block, the bottom diagonal. We want to do a cyan stained clay. Then we want to do an upside down stone brick stairs. Then a cyan stained clay. Then we can take the upper two blocks and we can do three light grey coming right. Like that. Then we can do the layer of black wool. Then for the next section here, we want to do... The bottom block we want to go right with one dark grey wool we then want to do one white glass one dark grey wool then for the middle we want to do one light grey glass one white glass one light grey wool and the top the same so light grey um, white glass then light grey then do a layer of black then for this final space we want to have the middle row we want to do one light grey an upside down stone brick stairs, a light grey, then do the top and bottom diagonals, you want to have them coming right each by three with the light grey wall. So you want to have something that should look a bit like this. And this is the back of the PS4 pretty much complete, although there is a little bit more to it, that's, that's the majority of. Now once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So, the next part of this is going to be for us to add in the little bit of separation between the PS4. So, can you see how the PS4 looks now? Do you know what would actually be easier? So, I'll tell you what. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to fill in the very top and right hand side of the PS4. So can you see the two front bits that are exposed here? I'm going to connect those together. I'm going to fill in the top with black wool and I'm also going to fill that right hand side in with black as well. Uh, this is going to take a couple of minutes. I don't really want to include it in the recording because I don't want to add to the time. So I'm going to be back in just a second once I've completely filled in this right hand side and the top and the front of the PS4. I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. It's probably easier to show you rather than tell you anyway. So I'll be back in just a second. This will take a few minutes. All right, so as you may be able to see, we have the majority majority of this filled in at the moment. We've only filled in the parts that we have to, the parts that are exposed from the outside, but that'll take you quite a while to do. Well, once you've done that for yourself, you guys know what you have to fill in. You'll be able to see just by looking at it, but I also told you it's the top, it's the right-hand side, it's the left-hand side. It's basically any part that you'd be able to see from the outside. Well, once you've got that taken care of, and pause this video if necessary, and hit play once that's taken care of. I know it takes a while. Well, once you've got all that done, this is what you want to do next. So you want to come inside your PS4 here, and you want to be at the front. You want to take... These, this first row at the top of your PS4, so you know the lower half of like your PS4, you want to come to the top of the lower half here where I am now. You want to add a layer of black inside of this. So you want to add a layer of black like inside of the front top row of the PS4. Can you see what I'm doing here? It's like, it's like here. I'm sure that you guys will be able to see it. So you just want to add a layer of black there, right? Then you want to take out your dark grey wool and you want to add a layer of dark grey that goes all the way around the inside of 
your PS4, or at least all the way around the inside of the top of the lower half of the PS4, if that makes sense. I mean, I'm adding it in now, I'm sure that you'll be able to see where you have to apply it, I'm sure that you guys aren't blind, so I'm sure that you'll be able to figure out where you have to place this, and you may have to knock out some blocks just so that you can maneuver around, but uh, the blocks that you knock out won't be important, trust me. Um, once we actually seal up the PS4 in, well, very soon, soon, um, it'll become apparent that uh, that we didn't need them anyway. So just make sure that you destroy inside blocks that you need to maneuver around the PS4, and you'll end up with something that should look a bit like this. Can you see what we've done there? I'm sure you can. Well, once you've got that sorted out, this is what you want to do next. So, um, this bit's a bit tricky to explain, but we want to, with the cyan stained clay, can you see where we have this one row of separation at the front and back and top of the PS4? We want to add a layer of cyan stained clay that kind of like sits inside and diagonally of the front of the PS4 like that, so it wants to sit in the front of the lower half, and it also wants to sit like one row behind the upper half, like this, if you guys can see, like that. And by the way, we actually do need another color. Uh, we can get rid of light gray, um, we can get rid of the white stained glass for a moment, and if you grab yourself some sea lanterns, the very top Cyan stained clay here, can you see this one, like right at the top of the upper half? This actually wants to be a sea lantern, and this sea lantern can be extended all the way right to the back of your PS4, like this, until it stops here, like one row away, because on the back we also want the same thing, like we want the pattern of the cyan stained clay just like one row inwards, like this. And then we can take this dark grey wall that we have here at the bottom that I didn't destroy, and here is actually supposed to be a cyan stained clay, and we can have the same cyan stained clay on the back as we do the front, if you guys can see where it's supposed to be placed. I mean, it just sits like one row inwards like this. Uh, the Sea Lantern, by the way, if you ever turn on your PS4 or whilst your PS4's on, you may notice that it's kind of like a blue colour. There you go, that's what the Sea Lantern's for. Well, once you've got that sorted out, this is what you want to do next. So, you want to come all the way to the front of your PS4, and we are going to start on the right-hand side of it this time. And, can you see, on top of this layer of dark grey wool here, this layer of dark grey wool that we have inside, you want to move left by one, and you want to place, going left, a row of eight dark grey wool. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You then want to do... Two upside down stone brick stairs, so that is one, two. Then do two dark grey wall going left. Then do two upside down stone brick stairs. Then do two dark grey wall. Then you want to come all the way over to the left hand side here, and where we have these two first dark grey walls, or on top of the second dark grey wall, starting from the left going right, we want to do dark grey wall, and we want to go right at that by one. Then, where we have this empty space here in the PS4, and we may have to just break into the PS4 like this, we want to have a layer of light grey wall that sits behind this very long horizontal row of empty space. So it just wants to look, and again, it's, it's kind of difficult to maneuver around the PS4 once it's filled in a little bit. I maybe should have left this until later. But uh, you want to have something which should look, where did I break into this thing? You want to have something which should look a little bit, let me just close this hole, a little bit, like this from the outside, and any of you guys that own a PS4, you'll realize that that is where the disc tray goes, or that is where the disc goes, rather, not the disc tray. But um, there you go, that's what you want to have. Now, on the sides and the back, things are a little bit trickier, but they're, they're not difficult, they're actually quite easy, it's just, it's just a little trickier. So, what we want to do is, we want to have a pattern here, and we want to, with our dark grey wool, and our black glass, or we'll use grey glass, we'll use grey wool and grey glass. So we want to go left of this dark grey wool and we want to trace along the inside of the outside shape of the PS4 and we want to do this, we want to do one dark grey glass, one grey wool. Glass, wool, glass, wool, glass, wool, so on and so forth until we eventually border the entire PS4. Now, this will take a second or two, and if you're a bit clumsy like me, it'll take even longer. But, by the way, I do want to point this out. So, when you get to the halfway point at the back here, and I've just realized that I've missed a block, there should be a cyan stained clay right about there. Perfect. 
Um, you'll notice that you like hit the sign and saying clay, you can't go any further, right? Well, you move through that clay, you pretend that clay was a dark grey wall, as the pattern would expect, and then you want to just continue going back, so it'll be like glass, grey, glass, grey. You guys get the idea, so you want to treat that sign saying clay as a actual grey wall, and you want to continue the pattern. Otherwise, the pattern won't work. Uh, the pattern will um, it'll end on the wrong block, because the block that it is supposed to end on is actually supposed to be a glass. Um, it should end in the same place on this side as it does on the opposite side. So, you'll note that when you get to here, boom, glass, and it connects perfectly. Almost as if it was intended to do that. Well, once you've got all of that taken care of, so your front of your PS4 looks a lot a bit like this, uh, there's only really a few things left to do so the first of which is kind of optional so on the top front right hand corner of the PS4 I have added a P and what is basically a squiggle but it's supposed to be the PS logo in like grey uh, the reason that I added it is because this is a little bit plain otherwise, the PS4. I mean, a few of you guys might recognise what this is by looking at it, but um, this further helps to just brand the PS4, but don't add this if you don't like the look of it. Well, what you want to do is you want to come all the way up to the top right-hand corner of your PS4, right at the front. You want to locate this top right-hand corner block, this one right here. You want to move it down by one, and then left by one, so you're in front of this block. Place a dark grey wall. Do a bottom right diagonal with your dark grey, followed by a bottom left diagonal with your dark grey, like this. You then want to go left of that dark grey white by one, then go up by three with your light grey, that's one, two, three. Then go left by two, one, two, go down by two, one, two, go right by one, but also in the same block, go down by one, like that. You then want to go left by one with your dark grey. Do an up left diagonal with your dark grey, an up right diagonal, and this is actually the logo. I know, you can't really tell what it is, which is why I decided to do this. So, once you have this shape, you can then kind of extend each one of the blocks forward until they are as far forward as the outer blocks. So, you just want to extend each one of them forward, sometimes by two or three, until you have a flat shape. And this is just supposed to represent the PS logo. It just makes it a little bit more recognisable. You see that and, hey... It's a PS4. It's pretty difficult to tell otherwise because it's hard to get the shape of the PS4 in Minecraft. It just is. Well, once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to build the controller. So, to make the controller, which you can place anywhere, you'll need black wool, dark grey wool, you'll need cyan stained clay, you'll need some blue, you'll need some green. You'll need some magenta and some red. And I do believe that that's everything. This is for the controller. Oh, you'll also need sea lanterns. How could I forget? So I'm going to place the controller... Mm, I'll place it on the floor here, just because it's easier to see the controller on the floor. I actually want to build it on top of there, but I'm, I'm going to place it on the floor because it's easier. So to make this controller, on the floor you want to take out your black wall. And just as you're looking down, doing a pixel art, you want to do this. You want to place a black wall on the floor, then do an up left diagonal of that black. And then go up by six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then do an upright diagonal. Then do an upright diagonal with your cyan stained clay. Go right by one. Do a bottom right diagonal with your black. Go right by five with your cyan stained clay. That's one, two, three, four, five. Then go right by one with your black. Do an upright diagonal with your cyan stained clay. And then go right by one. Do two bottom right diagonals with your black. And then go down by six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then do a bottom left diagonal, left by one. Do an up left diagonal, up by two. Go left by 8, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Go down by 2, do a bottom left diagonal. So you have this shape. Easy enough shape, right? Well, then add two additional layers on top of this shape. So that'll look like one layer and then two layers. And you basically just want to take each one of those blocks and, like I said, I guess it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory, really. You want to take each one of those blocks and you want to add two layers of black and cyan stained clay and all sorts on top of this. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So we're just going to add two layers of this. 
Then we'll add a third and final layer. The third and final layer will be comprised of many blocks and it's where we're going to add all of the detail into the controller. We will also shape the controller by the way. It's not just going to stay flat like this, but uh, I figure it's easier to just start with this shape and color combination and then we can mess about with it later. So we want to have something which should look like that and that's pretty simple, right? Well, once you've got that taken care of, this is what we want to do next, and this isn't going to be too much fun, so we want to start on the very left-hand side here. Can you remember the block that we started with? It's this black wall right here. Well, we want to take this black wall, and we want to do like an upwards-inwards diagonal from that black like this. Uh, we then want to go up by four with that black, so that's one, two, three, four, like that. We then want to place a cyan stained clay. We then want to move inwards by one the dark grey wall. Place a cyan stained clay going all the way around that dark grey wall. It'll give you an effect like this. Um, we'll then take the right hand side of that plus shape and we'll go right by one the black wall. We'll then go right by five with the cyan stained clay. That's one, two, three, four, five. Then we want to do a layer of black underneath that layer of cyan stained clay. And then going left to right underneath this layer of black, we want to do one dark grey, one black. Sea lantern, black, dark grey. Add an additional layer of cyan stained clay above that first initial layer of cyan stained clay. Going right of the right hand side of the first initial layer of cyan stained clay, do a black wall. Then going right, do a magenta wall. Right of that, a dark grey. Underneath the dark grey, a blue. Right of it, a lime. Above it, actually that's wrong. Right of it, you want a red wall. And then above it, you want a lime. You guys will know. Um, the PS4 control a little better than me. Um, you then want to take out your black wall and you essentially want to fill the entire top of the controller in where you have no blocks. So you want to take each one of the empty spaces at the top of the controller and you just want to fill it in like this. And you'll find that once you have um, filled this in with the black wall, uh, like this, you'll have a controller that looks a little bit flat really it, it kind of does it looks a little bit flat so what we'll do is we'll add uh, blocks in the bottom left and bottom right hand corners here like this just to kind of shape it out a bit we'll also add a strip of black on the left and right to just kind of like make the controller a little bit chunkier and it just adds a better shape to the controller like that. We'll also come underneath the controller and we'll knock out the first layer of the controller. Um, by doing this, we're going to not only take away some of the unnecessary paddles at the back like they're unnecessarily long, um, but we'll add a further, further shape to the controller because we'll then go all the way around the base of this controller here like this. And we just want to add a layer of black all the way around the inside of the base of this controller. Can you see what I'm talking about? So we want to add a layer of black kind of like all the way around the inside of the base of this thing. So at no point does it actually want to be like level with the layer above it. It just wants to sit one block inwards. And you can see where it's actually been destroyed because we have a lot of dirt on the ground. If you very quickly just trace along around inside, that'll be easier. But you can see here that we've just like, we've just added a bit of a shape to the controller and it looks a little bit better. Um, the controller doesn't look perfect as is. I mean, if you want, you can even like add a little bit more shape to, uh, to the handles where you'd actually grip the controller and stuff like that if you'd want but um, it's a hard controller to make because it is so shapely unlike the Xbox controller. The Xbox controller is very very like stiff. The Xbox controller, the Xbox controller is like very um, how, do, how do I describe it? It's just it's just chunky the Xbox controller so I mean it's, it's very hard to it's very hard to make I mean you can you can keep shaving bits off but you, it, it just looks weird basically so it's not really a highlight this controller but it does it does further let you know what you're actually dealing with here you're actually dealing with a PS um, with a PlayStation rather than anything else and I'm just I'm just messing about with the controllers you can see I'm trying to get it perfect like that they're the sort of like measures you'd have to do you'd have to just keep knocking out blocks until you eventually like the thing and uh, maybe you'd even add like a layer of blocks here in the center and maybe then you'd like add this and then you'd add that and then you'd make it a bit longer here you guys get the idea like you keep playing about with it until you eventually like the shape of it um but that might take you a while but there you go that's the controller before i messed about with it or after i've messed about with it you guys know how it's actually supposed to look and that's the actual playstation house um i think that it looks actually pretty good um as you can see it's quite in scale 
with the Xbox house. And the Xbox actually gave, gives you more to work with. Because it is a square shape, it's easier to replicate. But um, the PS4 was an interesting challenge, despite the fact that it does seem a very, very simple thing to make. It was actually quite difficult to design, more so than the Xbox itself. Something that I should probably do before I sign off here is tell you guys how this is actually a house. And all you have to do to realize this is knock out a couple of blocks and walk into the inside of this. And you'll notice that if you come inside here and you knock out all of the unnecessary blocks, the ones that you don't need anymore because you've established the shape of the PS4, this thing is pretty massive. So you could turn this into something just absolutely giant. You could have a massive house uh, made inside this PS4 and it could actually be a little bit hidden if you wanted to. Like you could, you could have like the entrance of the house because this thing is quite quite like a pyramid, like you could, uh, well I'm flying, but you could definitely have like an entrance like on top of this, no problem, you could have like a, a little hidden ladder, or a hidden, uh, or a nice little hidden um, trap door or something to just get on the inside of this, and you can turn it into a massive house, and I hope that you guys like this, by the way, uh, I spent a lot of time on this, I really did, and uh, if you do like this, please give this video a like, I'd really appreciate it, comment down below, what else should I make next, do you guys want me to make the Wii U, um, a lot of you guys were suggesting that you'd actually like that after I made the Xbox house. Um, follow me on Twitter at TSMC360. You can do the same thing there. Comment, let me know whether you've built it, let me know whether you like it, let me know if you want something else. Um, check out the card system and the description below. Not only will I link you to my consoles and controllers playlist, but I'll also link you to my awesome theme builds playlist. And you can actually see some of the things in the background that you'll find in that playlist, like the Ghostbusters headquarters. And you might even find the uh, Uncle Grandpa RV and some other things that we can't actually see in the distance. But hopefully you guys like this. I hope that you're happy now that I've done both of these. And like I said, let me know whether you want to see anything else. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.